after getting all of your materials prepared, you're ready to practice your layout. In this video, we're going to be practicing the extra small to small layout for view B of the hoodie. And I want to remind you that there's two separate things we're gonna be laying out. So first we're gonna lay out our fabric so that there's fold on one edge, selvage on the other. Then we're going to, after we lay these parts out, we're gonna cut it in half and we're going to lay out the fabric in so that the selvages are in the middle and there's a fold on the top and on the bottom. So we'll walk through that. We're going to ignore this half for right now. So I'm just gonna cover it up so we're not stressed about this. Right now I'm only doing this first layout, okay? So what I'll do is I'll take my fabric. This is my fabric. I fold it in half, it's a piece of paper, printing it's my fabric. I'm gonna put the fold on top, just like it says, the selvages on bottom. So where it opens up, my selvages on the bottom, they should be parallel to each other. And I'm focusing on pieces, it says three. I'm focusing on piece seven and eight. So those are my three pieces I need. Piece eight needs to be cut on the fold. So when I lay that one out, I'm gonna have to place that right on the fold. These other two just have straight up green arrows. They do not need to be placed on the fold. I am going to copy this layout. So I'll start with piece three, cause that's the biggest. And I would lay it kind of like this. Keep in mind that this arrow needs to be parallel to my selvage and my fold. So I'm gonna measure that in just a second. I'm not gonna glue it down yet until I know that all my pieces are gonna fit here. Then I know piece eight needs to go right on the fold. And if I need to adjust it so that both of them fit and don't overlap, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then piece seven is going to go right here. It doesn't need to be on the fold, but it can be close to the fold, but that arrow should be parallel to my fold and selvage. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to measure out the left side of my arrow to my selvage or fold and the right side of my arrow to my selvage or fold. Um, so I can make sure that those are parallel. So if I lay this out here, that's one inch. And then if I lay it over here, that's also one inch. So I know that my three arrow here is parallel and I can go ahead and glue that. I'm not gonna glue mine super well. You would glue yours better, but just for sake of time, I'm just gonna put a little dot of glue right there. Eight, I don't need to necessarily measure because my arrow is already gonna be parallel because it's going to be right on the fold. So I'm gonna line that right up on the fold glue that down, and then seven, I would measure and make sure that it doesn't overlap anything and that it's the same distance. So here I have a half inch, and over here I'm going to adjust it so it's a half inch, double check that I didn't move. Now they're both a half inch about, and I'm going to go ahead and just put a dot of glue for the moment. You would glue yours down better, but I just wanna do that real quick so that we can move on to the other part. So I have these, they're barely touching but not overlapping, that layout is good. Now I need to figure out what to do for my next layout. My next layout, I need it to actually just cut right here and I'm gonna have a whole different layout with different fabric. When you do this first layout, you wanna make sure it's as close to the top as possible so you still have space for pieces one and two. And then another thing you can do is just double check that piece, actually piece two is our longer one. So take piece two and say, if I slide it the whole length, that's going to have space that whole length. So I know that I have enough space for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cut right here, just like there's a space right here. So I have my first part of that done. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to work on my other half. So I'm gonna cover that up. So I'm not stressed about that. It tells me I need a fold at the top and at the bottom and my selvages need to be in the middle. So I'm gonna take my two selvages. They're going to meet in the middle, which will give me a fold on the top and a fold on the bottom. You might be wondering, why do I have to do this? Well, the answer is we're doing pieces one and two here. And you'll notice that both piece one and two need to be placed on the fold. If we only had one fold, we would not have space for piece one and two. Since we have two folds now, we have space for pieces one and two to both be on the fold. And that way we don't need to have a seam down the back or the front of our hoodie. Because they're placed on the fold, you don't have to measure them. You just have to make sure that they're right on the fold. If they are a quarter inch off, that is a really big problem, right? You want them right on that fold, okay? So you'll glue, glue yours much, much better than this. But for the sake of the video, I'm just going to be doing an easy little thing there. And that's my layout. Now you can see how this layout comes together, right? I have pieces three, seven, and eight. I have pieces one and two. They're both laid out just differently. And you'll notice I have a bunch of extra pieces. 
And that's because pieces four, five, and six are only for view A, so I don't actually need them. I could just toss those, throw those away. Piece nine, I do need, and I'm gonna be using it for my interfacing, which I will cut out after I cut out these two pieces. And it's just a different kind of fabric. I have it in the classroom for you if you need it, but this is a whole separate thing. So that's our interfacing. You don't have to put it anywhere. If you would like, you could just glue it on the inside of one of these and just write for interfacing if that helps you remember. But this is the main thing I want. Go ahead and get checked off by the teacher on this before moving on.